Hi, this is Louisa Tullamanson and this is part two of the Transforming Bodies um, mini-series, I guess, um, where I'm talking about the effects of the Grand Square and the Grand Trine. Now yesterday's edition was pretty astrological, so I was looking at um, the tensions that have been caused astrologically and um, talking about what might be happening with the body and in particular our memories and our belief systems that um, when they're trapped in our bodies can create all sorts of illnesses. Now, lots of people are, uh, are saying at the moment on forums that they're, ex they're experiencing lots of symptoms. Uh, some people are saying they're uh, ascension symptoms. Lots of people are saying that it's about integrating the energies that are going on at the moment. And I guess if we are really all connected um, to each other around the world, to every plant, every being on the planet, then it would make sense that we're all going through some kind of collective dis-ease or collective unrest and that the energy's got to be expressed somehow, some way. And that might account for why there's so many people having spontaneous vertigo, um, dizziness, eye twitches, bad backs and all sorts of different things, tiredness, lethargy, ringing in the ears, etc. There's lots going on. So yesterday's video looked a little bit about how we can... Um, use the energies of the Grand Trine and the Grand Square and in particular move the energy along from new moon to full moon, from new moon to full moon and, and so forth. I mentioned that there is the um, new moon in Taurus um, on the 29th which is also a solar eclipse. I forgot to mention that in the video. <laughs> I have actually um, blog done a couple of other video blogs about the solar eclipse but it is a solar eclipse so it, it's a very very powerful new moon and I see that very much as the start of us balancing the energies that have come at us from the Grand Cardinal Square. It's our time to um, take what we've been given thus far um, and all the learning that we've ac accumulated over the last six months and start to work with it and start to work through with it. And that was the idea of yesterday's video. So you know, how we can work through particular tensions from new moon to the full moon to the new moon to the full moon and so forth. What I didn't really mention yesterday was, um, I, I didn't really refer to very much that we could do to actually reveal, uh, release the symptoms of what we're going through. I was talking more about emotional releases and not so much about the physical. So I just wanted to give um, um, a few ideas as to astrologically how we could release those um, symptomatic tensions. Now, um, as this is to do with... Um, releasing the emotions um, and releasing the symptoms based on the emotions it's important to recognize where they might be stored in the body and usually where we get these um, pains and tightnesses and sensations is where the tension is being held so the first thing I would recommend especially for people with the um, structural um, difficulties right now as represented by Pluto and Capricorn I would recommend anything to do with realigning the posture, anything to do with gentle stretching and gentle movement. Um, it is important to keep moving. Um, the message of Pluto in Capricorn is very much about transforming the old structures. It's about almost obliterating the old structures and creating something new. So the challenge here is to actually get over the structural difficulties that we have grown used to. So for many of us who have got used to pain in the back or you know a neck ache or you know some kind of um, shoulder that's two inches higher on one side now is actually the time to start thinking about how to overcome it for many people they've just been um, working with someone to release the pain um, and not to actually correct it but Pluto in Capricorn is asking us to challenge that asking us to let go of those structural beliefs asking us to let go of the idea that we're attached to this. Um, now, for those of you do, that do have back pain or any kind of postural issues, um, you'll probably be saying, don't be daft, of course I want to release it. Um, but the metaphysical people out there will be saying, well, if you did, you wouldn't have it. So there is this um, metaphysical, physical debate going on of which I'm just suggesting what my intuition's saying. I'm not a medical doctor, I'm not um, a natural um, alternative healer. I'm an astrologer and intuitive. So take this as just my home spun advice based on experience. 
and um, make of it what you will. But for instance, gentle postural exercises could really help, as would working with things with your breath and being aware that the connection between our emotions and our health exists. There's lots of scientific studies done on this and I can link some in at the bottom of the video. So the more you um, are allowing your body to move in new ways and allowing your thinking to change and be new, um, then you should find some kind of release. It's about stretching and being gentle. It's not about forcing the change. Um, it's about being gentle with it. For those um, who are feeling accidental and having little accidents and finding their vision is slightly impaired, the ones that are getting the real fire kick back at the moment from the Grand Cardinal um, Cross, it's important to keep moving. It's important to keep refocusing and revisioning. It's important not to get stagnant. So what I'm seeing with this energy is there's this excessive Uranus energy that is abound at the moment that needs a release. And the first of all, the best way of doing that is to get creative and get passionate. So whatever you get passionate and creative about, do it. Um, as long as it doesn't hurt anyone else, by the way. <laughs> I'll just add that bit in. Don't want that on my conscience. But, you know, if it's being sensuous and sexual, then do it. If it's getting creative with art and food, do it. Just express yourself. Where you're not expressing yourself, the frustration will build up and will cause you to act in a jerky way and to have little accidents. Where I've kept um, my um, emotions in check or where I've had frustrations and little nagging voices in my head, I've um, tried keeping it together and I banged my finger up against a wall and, <laughs> and it still hasn't it still hasn't healed. I've got this like bone problem caused by an accident because I wasn't actually... Um, fully responsive, my tensions were leaking out of me, and I know that's happening to lots of people. Um, for the air people, for the people that are experiencing problems with their nervous system at the moment, people who are um, having irrational thoughts and fears coming up and not being able to get rid of them, for people having sleep problems because um, their nervous system isn't is either oversensitive or undersensitive. I'm not. I'm not a doctor, but for people who are having those nervous issues that are keeping them awake at night, then it is about releasing the air energy. Um, you've had Mars going um, direct and and then retrograde in Libra, sort of squaring up against all the other planetary participants in this grand square, and that is creating some issues. Again, it's a little bit like the fire one. It's about releasing it. It's about getting those fears out getting those worries out. It is about communicating it. And that's the difficulty because with Mars in this position at the moment, it's making every communication seem like a um, a fight or a power play, some kind of battle. Social networking, I would imagine, could help. But again, there is that tendency um, to um, rub up against somebody in the wrong way. Um, because it's to do with the nervous system and to do with the way the brain is functioning and also to do with ideas and thoughts and very much the ether, I would also suggest getting out in the fresh air and away from Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi has increased exponentially in the last couple of years and I'm sure that does not help. Um, in fact, there's lots of studies to back that up. But get out in the fresh air and, and, and get in nature as much as possible. Um, look for patterns in nature. Um, air energy is very much about patterns and seeing patterns and making those connections. Get out in nature and notice the patterns. Notice what, how the animals and the birds and notice how the, the leaves and the trees and all different plants and stuff work and relate and fit in because I'm sure you'll find patterns from your own life to the ones around you. It's about staying connected and allowing that connection to come. From that you can communicate. It might be that initially you're communicating to yourself and letting your fears out and counselling yourself, but you know, talk to nature. Now I'm sounding barking mad, but you know, go with it. <laughs> for those of you with the preponderance of water energy going on at the moment, for people that can't stop crying, the ones that are caught in some kind of emotional drama from the past, um, that will be exacerbated with Pluto, uh, with Jupiter and Cancer at the moment. This is really connecting people into their stories, into their past, and into their relatives and their families, which can and cannot be helpful. Um, families are a blessing and a curse at all times. They're our greatest source of learning, for sure. For you guys, um, 
there's a lot of water energy around at the moment and the chances are it is um, driving you mad because it's not only you that's emotional but everyone else you're coming across is really sad or really um, wishy-washy and indecisive and not sure what's going on. You guys need to warm yourselves up, have a warm bath, nourish yourself, um, really feed yourself up, boost your, in, your immune system, get your energies going. Um, you need to dry up a little bit and warm up. Um, allow the air to come in um, and blow yourself around, go for a nice walk, but don't, don't wallow around um, things that connect you into your story if it's taking you further down that road. Just be really conscious of that. Um, in light of all this, um, I've written a very short ebook um, that's going to build from new moon to full moon to new moon to full moon that's going to take you through the energies. I mentioned them yesterday, but it's sometimes it's easier to read them and work through them. For those of you that are feeling um, ready to let go of any of the past, ready to let go of the things that no longer serve them and are ready to really assimilate the energies of the Grand Cardinal Square, then this is my gift to you. I've written um, um, a series of chapters that connects um, connects all the dots or aims to connect all the dots. It's going to guide you through the process of um, making sense of what you've been through. Um, I'm not going to be as bold as to say it's inner child healing <laughs> um, because this is just um, something I've put together to help people. You know, it's, it, I'm not publishing a book or anything like that. This is a free little ebook. It's something to help you and guide you through what what's going on astrologically at the moment. There's also um, an accompanying MP3, which is a guided meditation with some some hypnotic suggestions, but I'm not going to say it's hypnosis. It's it's predominantly a guided um, meditation that you can use to relax you and to connect yourself into something that you're ready to let go of. Um, for those of you that are interested in um, embarking on this or giving it a go and challenging yourself and possibly delighting yourself, then watch out um, for the announcement later on today. I'll put a link in below this video um, and it will connect you straight to the information you need and the mp3 as well. Um, in light of the fact we've got a solar eclipse on the 29th which is in a couple of days time um, that's 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 why we're starting now it would be a fabulous time to set yourself a new direction at the time of a solar eclipse. I have already um, done a couple of video blogs about the power of a solar eclipse and how it's helped me in the past. This is an immensely powerful and resourceful time for you. So if you are ready to take the patterns of the last six months and start processing them and letting them go um, and creating a new vision for yourself, rewriting your history, then connecting with me, download the ebook and the MP3. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. Let me know your thoughts and feelings and um, by all means drop me a line at Tanner Munson at gmail.com. Bye for now.